Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be going over how to investigate hints within Family Search and the best way to investigate hints within Family Search. As you can see, I'm currently showing you a an ancestor of mine and as you can see they do have that blue little record mark next to their name. So this means that there is a record hint for them. And I want to show you how to use this and how we can use this to gather more information or maybe just strengthen their person profile as a whole. So first thing I like to do is I like to enter or I like to open up that person's profile in a new tab. So I just went command, click, and then I went to a new tab. And as you can see, this person's name is Carrie Whistler and her it does not, the first one does not completely match Wistfer, it, or Whistler, it is Wistfer. Uh, but I think that is a fine misspelling or misindexing. And then, as you can see, the married name is Laughlin. So I do think that this could be a match. Let's go ahead and open it up in a new tab so we can come back to this. And now we have the record open, and this is the record, and this is the person that we have selected. As you can see, we do have a name, and we have a birth date, and the birth date year matches. Um, the spouse matches the birth date, and let's see, the birth date of her son also matches. So I do think that this is going to be a match, and so I would attach it there and it also says that it is in Oregon around that same time and we do know that they lived in Oregon so let's go ahead and attach it and the birth date of her son matches exactly so that is also another good sign all right and now this is attached we can either from here go to the record and if maybe you were a little bit um, on the fence, it might help to look at the record and look at the photo of it. And you can see a little bit more information about them, such as um, the age that might help, the birthplace, the race, that also might help, and where it was from. It's also, also pretty cool to look at this person's certificate of birth if this is a direct ancestor that you knew. So let's go ahead and go back from here. I'm going to go back to Carrie Whistler's page and whoops, exit out of that. So we can see we have attached it in our sources. It should be today that we attached it, February 4th of 2022. So that is how you go about investigating and attaching sources. Let's say um, if it was not a match, then you would go back to this page and you would select not a match and it would bring up explaining why. Personally, actually this record I do believe is correct. However, I'm that is how you would go about saying that it is not a match. So. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below or you can email me at familyrootsyt at gmail.com. Um, like and subscribe and I will catch you in the next one.